remember he said earlier, matter and energy is never quiescent. By the way, quiescent means uh, still, dormant, inactive. Uh, but this would be just another metaphysical double standard. Conscious minds are not quiescent either. And yet this never stopped him from positing just such a thing. So, you know how the problem uh, with lying is that uh, you, you tell too many of them and then your story starts to get more and more complicated. Eventually you can't really keep track of which lies are which and who you're telling them to and because of that people start coming to conclusions that you didn't really mean for them to come to and then you have to backpedal and eventually it all ends up biting you in the ass. Well, there's kind of a parallel to that in philosophy, uh, especially bad philosophy. When you, when you commit yourself to working backwards from a single conclusion and your entire reasoning process becomes about protecting this precious conclusion from being falsified at all costs, you might start to lose track of what other kinds of conclusions your inferences commit you to or commit you against. And then when you discover that your own rationalizations could be used against you, you have to do damage control by supplementing those rationalizations with certain principles or axioms that require rationalizations of their own, which can also be used against you. And at a certain point, you may not even realize that you have been arguing against yourself. What I hope, what I hope to have shown you here is that ultimately, all of the apologetic gymnastics that allow a religious apologist